According, according to a certain poem, this is true. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Salvation Army Thrift Store on Centennial Parkway in Hamilton's East End. We enter and we've gone right to the right. You've got the hard goods starting up with the their system of color grouping them. Uh, the ones in the window are a really nice display and uh, the light coming through the glassware really does help to illustrate the the colors and patterns that are created in, within the glass. Here's a section of the whites whether it's porcelain or plastic it doesn't matter they group all the whites together all the, and the other colors as you've seen them. This corner has some of the artwork and has some of the little statuary items. You'll see the artwork is up above. They've even got some other ha seasonal decor items up there. There's the artwork above and some small frames. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And as we continue on in the same hard goods area, there's something that shouldn't be there. It's hardware, it's uh, spray foam. Somebody just dropped it off there. This is a section of blues and indigos and on the other side they've got the browns and wood colors tending to maybe to a little bit of the beige at the on end this section's got the reds and purples that's the actual front cash desk we'll see that a little bit later and the blacks which included the kitchen pans the uh, blues on a, one of the end caps some purples and then it leads into a bit of the reds. Here's some of the kitchen cookware, but it's mixed in with the other things that are black. Now, back in the one corner, we've got the fabrics, sheets, and other like aprons, along with the books, the recorded music, as you can see, we have some here. We saw the title of that one. The, the, some of these, I... And then you got foreign language ones as well. Some of, the, some of these are kind of, um, well, obscure in this part of the world. How's that? Engelburton is a younger years. Evelyn Thomas. Honestly, it's not somebody I, I'm familiar with. Somebody else may well be. So all the recorded media are pretty well here. Whether it's CD, DVD, VHS, LPs. Plus you've got your books. a fair selection and the children's ones on the left side up top they had the lampshades all lined up in a nice row um, good and bad kind of can see them maybe not as well but it does protect them from any damage from being handled here's a bit more of what the uh, the racks with the hanging items had on them. The tablecloths are there, napkins, craft supplies. Uh, make what you want. And they'd also had a corner with this portable air conditioner and other items. And we'll be get, we've got some stills of some of this stuff. Some kitchen appliances, small ones. Uh, 
a musical amp, a vacuum cleaner, portable vacuum air conditioner. Here's the amp. I uh, don't know enough about these to say anything other than knowing that the price was $51. So, and the portable air conditioner that you're into $30. Incredibly, that's a really good price for it to be honest. And then there's this reel-to-reel -reel portable tape, uh, tape player. Um, really very, very interesting. It's very vintage. Whether it works or not, it'd be great for a, for a display piece. Probably does work and, and you can, you can play a lot of music for a long time from it. Here it is with the case closed, and we'll see the price in a moment at $175. I mean, it is a beautiful vintage piece. That I don't dispute. Now, we're going to look at some of the clothes. Just an overview of the general portion. Um, I suspect these are the women's. Yes, these are blouses. And other tops and they even have a bit of school supplies and there's a bit of dresses and some other end cap items some coats from the looks of it some more longer dresses and then we're into the men's these were the long sleeve shirts of course, I'm looking for something in particular, but these are t-shirts, jeans and slacks. There's men's hats, a small group of them. They had these all size five, not one of any other size, all the same size shoes. These were up at the front cash, but they're brand new pairs of jeans. Now. I'm not familiar with this particular brand name. If it fits you, that's great. You got a nice pair of new jeans that way. There's some children's clothes that was back near that same corner with the books. And getting into the part that uh, I spend a bit more time on, I'm looking for the Hawaiian shirts. They had quite a selection here. We have some stills following this really colorful ones so really interesting designs but they were lovely pieces there are a variety of sizes not necessarily all the larger sizes they, they went down to mediums in this particular collection of the Hawaiian shirts sailboats Let's go sailing. Oh, those are, that's a, that's a, oh, tall ship. Yeah, you could use it that way. Small pattern though, but bright. Here's another one, bunch of uh, leaves all over it. As we continue along here, there's yet more. That's a selection of leaves in a couple of different colors. Here's more of a monotone, green and beige, white. There's a smaller pattern, but still quite bold. Very fine pattern there. I would count it that way. Interesting. 
And here we start with some of the stills. This one has the price showing, pretty good price for a, a nice shirt. It's Mountain Ridge 3XL. It's not from Hawaii, but eh, it's a nice design. This one's Penman, so it, which tells me it's a very old piece. It's a brand name that we have here in the past, at least. Here's a the beiges showing up on this particular one. The very bright colors, gotta love it. I think it says Barbados on it or something. And then you have uh, a different kind of boldness in color. Stripes and such. Really colorful one. Denver Haze. Arrow shirt, this one. It's of the tall ships. Yes, $10, they've all been at that price. That's a reasonable price for, for these kind of uh, vintage shirts. And then we got this set of fern leaves on this one. This one's got some uh, turquoise plants uh, placed over another pattern. Another one with fern, but it's on a dark background. This one's a little bit more for $12. There's a variety of colors. I think that's a Zara or something. So you gotta watch the brand names on some of these. Interesting, very, very tight pattern. This is two different fabrics. This is a t-shirt. Uh, crew neck. I just wanted to make sure you see that, but it has, it looks like it has two different kinds of fabrics on it, making it quite interesting in its own right. As we're heading towards the front cache, there were some scarves and such, uh, backpacks, purses, and handbags are all along the wall going up to there. Then they have these uh, glass cases. S sometimes they have auctions. Uh, I don't think they currently do. These are uh, slightly more precious items. Same as when they put them into the, the showcase right at the cash desk. That's where they tend to have the jewelry and watches, and things of that nature. Up on the wall, they actually had couple of keyboards, electronic keyboards. I'm not into that kind of stuff, but they're definitely interesting to someone, I'm sure. Maybe they work with with that amp we saw in the back corner, or maybe it's that guitar there. The electric guitar would work nicely with that amp that we saw a bit earlier. Then they had this uh, little Christmas scene on a shelf. There you see the two of them. The purses are below. I had to stand back to catch some of these upper levels. And the lovely piece of artwork, it was on the opposite wall, but I grew, used it for the intro. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate a thumbs up and for it and maybe a subscribe and a dingle on the bell so you know when the next one's coming out. Thanks a lot folks. Bye bye.